Founding stories are always really interesting and I think highly personal because what are the motivations? Why do you decide to do this? I think I'm your classic entrepreneur that wants to solve my own problems. Um, but there really was two key motivations for starting the business. The first was saying, hey, this problem space I know really well, and that if you could tackle it, you'd be solving you know, a 100-year-old problem, and you'd be able to reinvent an entire industry that's primarily offline, that, that lacks technology backing. There's a huge motivation to solve the problems of a mechanical engineer or any companies building hardware. The second major principle for me, though, was people. I was fortunate enough to go to Stanford. Stanford's a unique university where 95% of the student body lives on campus. I was a Division I athlete, I was also an engineer, but my friends were world-class ballerinas. They had written books before even coming to school. They were physicists, they were, you know, these folks that had really eclectic interests. And those are people I got to hang around with all day. And so the second motivation was, how could you create a culture, a group of people of very different backgrounds, but all have a single thread, things that they're interested in. And for us, that's, that's building, it's creation. Creation's at the core of, of Fictive. And so we said, hey, could we build a business or a place that we could solve a tough problem that was really uh, personal and passionate to myself, but do it with people that you got to learn every single day. That you create an environment where you learn from each other, that you solved industry problems that maybe one person couldn't do, but a collective we could tackle that problem. And that was over six years ago, but I think the same thing's still true today. Uh, it's around how do you tackle this really large industry problem, but also do it with a diversity of thought and people, uh, which is really exciting.